Hello traders, hello everyone, my name is Grigor and welcome to, to new update here on TradingView where I will cover and update for you Bitcoin and Monero. Now last time when we made video or this update, um, I was actually looking for more upside on Bitcoin above 60,000 up towards 62,000 because we identified this head and shoulders um, formation with successful retest of that neckline and then I was looking for more upside and I really love this head and shoulders, especially when it goes uh, in line with the Elliott wave view. So I was looking for a five wave movement away from these marginal four lows. So market has made a very nice uh, progression to the upside before it turned down exactly from these projected levels. Now, the question is where we are going from here. Well, here we have an updated, uh, updated structure. I will remove these lines here. It looks like the wave for here was a triangle. So I will remove also this head and shoulders okay, because we don't need it anymore. So notice that this current drop from the high was quite aggressive. It can be counted in five waves on smaller time frame charts. So this makes me wonder that maybe this market is going to stay sideways. Okay. Uh, why I think this could be the case is because we have seen a move to a new high and then very fast move back below the previous high. Normally, that's an indication that this market is actually or that this um, uptrend is not going to continue just yet. OK, so we have seen a move to a new high. We failed there. We reverse down with looks like a very aggressive sell-off that can be first leg of a free wave correction. But even if this is going to see more weakness, let's say something like that, well, and then a bounce, well, you still should keep an eye on this level, on this one. Why? Because if I update the wave count here, then you can see that this could be the level of wave one and we know that wave four must not retrace into the territory of a wave one so as long as we are trading above this fifty thousand three hundred dollars i think that this uptrend could actually resume but maybe after a free wave drop because we have seen this movement very aggressive to the downside of course there are some occasions where wave four is very sharp especially when you have um wave two like a flat like in our case. So this is a tricky correction, a complex one. In such case, in case, we can expect also or consider rule of alternation, meaning that wave four could be much more faster and very quick. So maybe this will still bottom after all, but because, as I said, we failed at a new high and we reverse back uh, below that level, I think that there could be a limited upside on intraday rallies here. So just keep an eye on this 50 8,000, I believe. If we once again fail here and turn lower, then just be aware of more of more potential weakness. But still, it could be way four. But things will change dramatically if we will drop back towards 50,000. Then this whole structure, this move up from February 28, would actually be seen as a free wave movement. In such case, the whole structure from this February 21st could actually be a flat maybe even a big triangle. But that's good because we will have a corrective structure that will suggest that sooner or later Bitcoin will continue again to much higher prices because correction will take longer pause. It means that again, later we can expect much higher prices. So um, I think that this could be some very interesting, interesting structures going forward, especially if we drop below 50,000, because it's set, could be a flat, could be a correction as part of a much bigger uptrend. Uh, if we go straight up from here with no overlap here, uh, then of course, I would expect that be, uh, between 65,000 and 70,000, I think that the upside could then be limited and that uh, we could see uh, much more aggressive and deeper sell. Okay, traders, that's for Bitcoin. Now, also, let's take a look for Monero. Now, Monero, I think it's very interesting as well. I mean, a lot of altcoins um, has managed to reach only a resistance here and did not move to new all-time highs 
like Bitcoin. So if Bitcoin is maybe going to stay sideways and really move the, uh, towards 50,000 or form a very big triangle, then altcoins, which are much weaker, could see a much more aggressive sell-off. I mean, here, if you're familiar with the Elliott Wave structure, then I'm, I'm sure that you will agree that we have a very nice and clear pattern here. Potentially, you have five waves down here, and then you had a three waves up. And these three waves up, I believe this was a triangle in the middle. Let me just make this the same degree here. Okay, so this was a triangle here in the middle. And then we saw love. And what is very important is that whenever we are looking for potential next direction, try to focus in the previous very strong waves, like an impulses. And as we know, very strong wave in the when looking back from current price was in that direction it was to the downside and clearly a very sharp move with no overlap so that's an impulse while you have on the opposite side side this rise very slow and overlapping especially if you consider this triangle here in the middle so normally based on Elliott wave guidelines and personality this represents an impulse like this represents a correction so if we want to know in what these are the possibilities here, well, I think that there is a very good actual chance that this market will again see more weakness because already the first drop from the highs showed us where the direction is much stronger. It's much stronger to the downside because of this very sharp aggressive fall while bulls were struggling here, were making this only three wave rise. Okay, so just be aware that if Bitcoin will stay sideways or maybe even lower prices, um, then I think that this Monero could uh, easily see much more weakness. Not only this one, of course, other similar uh, weak ones as well. First, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let me know in the commentary box below. Or please support us uh, with a like and I will make sure to share more of such videos in the future. Have a good day. Bye.